Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, I wanted to try out something that I saw online. It was, um, I think it was watercolor paint powder being used to color a crocheted flower, I think. I thought it looked really neat. I have paint powder. It's temper paint. It's not watercolor, but I also have watercolor. It's not powder but maybe it'll work. So I wanted to try that out and I thought what better way to try it out than on a flower. And I currently have daffodils, so why not try and make daffodils?
now that the watercolor trumpet is dry, I want to go over some of the things that I noticed that I liked and that I didn't like. I have seen people color finished product, finished crochet project projects before and there's lots of gaps where you can see that it was colored after the fact and I was trying to avoid that with this and with the watercolor, at least the method that I was using for coloring it, didn't work very well. You can see all of the white in there from the yarn underneath. I did make sure to thoroughly get it on the inside too. I even turned it outside as you guys saw. So it just, I think either maybe submerging it, which would be a lot closer to dyeing it. So I don't, I don't know if maybe you just had watercolor, maybe just coloring it that way would work, but I like the way it fades in here, but that's pretty much it with that one. It is stiffer, but eh, I don't know if that's going to be a big factor in it. This one, I can't see any... Well, okay, I say that when I do that. <laughs> you can see it there. But this one has a lot better coverage using the Tempera Paint Powder. has a lot better coverage for the overall project inside and out. You can see the inside there. Um, the only problem that I, well, not the only problem. One of the problems I have with using the paint powder is that it feels like you have some sort of residue on your fingers. And I mean, I don't know how much you're going to want to be manhandling the finished product if you're going to be doing some sort of painting on it. I'm thinking that you'd only want it for like something that's going to just sit there and look pretty, but you might want to use it for other things. I don't know. The only thing that I can think of would be for flowers and you're not exactly going to be touching that a bunch. One of the things that I did like about this was the fact that I could get as much or as little as I wanted on there. Although in contrast, when I was trying to color the petal here because I wanted slightly yellowed petals and not completely white because most of the tulips that I have around here do have slightly more yellow petals than white petals. So I wanted to get these a little bit of a pale yellow hue to them. And I was kind of blotchy with the application of the paint powder on here. So that's probably just my, an error on my part rather than it won't work. I'll need to play around with that. Maybe make a few more petals, try that out a bit. But I do like how I was able to get just a little bit of color there. And I think that using the powder like that, you could get more detailed, like maybe doing some stripes, some texturing looks or something. I don't know. You could, you could definitely play around with it and I think it could be really fun. You could also do that with this one. You can see it here, how I did do that. But it's just really throwing me that you can see the white in there. And I really don't want to be reminded that this was originally white when I do this. I want it to look finished. I don't know. I think personally I prefer this one for what it's going to be used for. But if, I was, but if I was going to be handling it more often, I think you can even, I think my thumbs are even a little bit yellow. But if I was going to be handling the product a bit more, the finished product, then I don't think I would want to go with the paint powder. Or if I did go with that, maybe like a setting spray or like a glue spray, something, maybe even hairspray would work. I might try that. Just to keep it from feeling like there's a residue on your hands. If you don't want to like spray it or something, maybe maybe the watercolor would work better. I really don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am curious to see what you guys think. And if you want to try it out, please please do so. I want to know what you have what your results are and if you like one better than the other. Let me know. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.